Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you, sir? Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Good, thank you. Uh, my name is Ade Ismail Ramadan. I'm 25 from Samarinda. I'm the representative of Muhammadiyah Students Association, Ikatan Pelajar Muhammadiyah Kalimantan Timur. Actually, I've been following your lecture along with Zakir Naik, Mufti Meng, and Ustadz Noman Ali Khan since 2012. I would like to ask you a question regarding a Muslim youth. Muslim youngster here today in Indonesia facing the unseen dangers. We are as a youngsters is too easy to get influenced by the Western culture and I believe you know how the Western culture works in destroying our Iman so my question is uh, as a Muslim speaker what is your concrete suggestions to overcome that problem for the better Muslim youth today not tomorrow thank you very good. By the way, Jazakallah Khair. That's a very good question. I also appreciate that you kept it short. And it was very direct. You also mentioned some of my best friends. And uh, people that I learn from every day. And if you had asked any of them, you'll hear maybe different words, but the same understanding. The same understanding is this. As we said to the sister, who just asked us about growing up as a Muslim, there are influences that come from your parents. We learned this from the Hadith, that the parents are the ones who grow them up to become whatever. So the first responsibility is the responsibility of the parent. However, when you reach maturity, then it's your responsibility to decide what you're going to do with this. If you want to waste your time in front of a television set watching reruns, it's your choice. If you want to spend your time looking at YouTube on your phone, it's your choice. But when you're really committed to Dean, then it's not hard for you to make the right choice to sit with Qur'an, listening to Qur'an, reading Qur'an, learning Hadith, sitting with scholars. You don't have to be famous scholars. They can be anybody. In fact, just because people are famous doesn't make them right anyhow. What I'm saying is that you can find the answer right where you're at. You don't even have to go someplace to get knowledge. In today's world, we don't have to get on a donkey or a camel and ride for months to get to a place of learning. You can do it right online, right in your own home or your place of work, even on your phone riding in a bus. By the way, don't try to do it riding on a motorcycle over here. That doesn't, that's not cool. Not cool. <laughs> but seriously, if you know the media already is a problem, stay away from it. You just stay away from it. Dr. Zachar Naik and myself have television channels broadcasting 24 hours a day. He has more channels, we just have one English one, but he has them in Urdu, English, he has it also in um, Bengali, I think, so there are ways that our children right now today could be exposed to the right thing. In America, what we are doing is taking channels like Peace TV, Guide Us TV, which is our channel, and others like Huda TV, the Islam channel from the UK, and the one from New Zealand, different ones, and we're putting them all together in a box. We have 143 channels in a box. Some are in Turkish, Urdu, and of course the English, Arabic, cartoons for the children in Arabic, 
help them learn the Arabic language while they're having fun. All of that is available. The problem for Muslims today, and I know this from traveling to so many countries, you'll take, not you, but Muslims in general, will take more effort to watch the big sports game, the ball game, the more effort to be able to be involved in the social media, I'll leave it at that, than you do to find out that we have this stuff available. And by the way, we don't even charge. You don't have to watch commercials. It's there. So I would recommend for all of us to look at what's available that people have worked hard, sacrificed for, and use an alternative to the social media. Jazakallah khair for a good question, and hope that the answer was up to the par of the good question. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum.